Hey guys, so welcome to another video. I have some footage from another day that I'm going to slide in right here. So I'm here at my sit spot right there. That big tree is where I sat probably about 75 to 80 times over the past uh, six and a half months. And uh, yeah, it was part of my forest therapy journey and um, I haven't come back here very often. I've come back here three times since um, <clears throat> it's ended, but just crazy how much water is rushing right now like there'd be water I usually would get on like right where that just a few feet from where the ice is um, <clears throat> hard to describe when I have no hands to point and stuff but yeah the water is super high and rushing and my plan was to bring you to or go to the waterfall and show you guys that because there's a 150 foot, I think, maybe 250 foot, I don't know. A very tall waterfall that I haven't gone to that is the main attraction as to why people come here. It's called High Falls, so that's why the majority of people come here. Um, but yeah, I'm done with my forest therapy practicum journey, and so I'm officially certified, and that is super exciting. I haven't um, done anything really since I was certified, but I'm um, excited to see what what comes of it, I guess. Yeah, wow. It is so beautiful. It's snowing a little bit right now. Freezing out, but totally worth the trip here. I'm just going to continue this video on because um, I don't feel like there is enough there to make one video so yeah I'm going to be filming I think two other videos besides this video and doing some writing and I've done so much work on my website recently but it still needs a lot more work so I'm going to be working on that as well yeah basically I will take you around and you'll see the majority of my day today because it's like maybe nine o'clock right now also, while I'm right here and they're right below my feet, I have these hats that are now available on my website with the patch on it. And then this is the, there we go. So that's the patch. As you can see, you can kind of get a gauge for how big it is. I think, I, I think it's one and a half inches by four inches. That's that. I'm also wanting to have this other forest therapy type coexist um, design that I've been working on for a while. That I'm trying to finish up soon, but I know that I also need to just make like a normal shirt. And so I might be coming out with the infinity sign. Um, what? whatever this is, I think I'm sh gonna be able to show it to you right now. But basically just the, the black infinity sign with white lettering. Um, <clears throat> and then maybe I can switch it around like I did for other things. And then, so that there could be a black version and other, maybe other colors as well. But um, would love to hear your thoughts on that too because I don't really wanna spend time doing something that nobody's interested in. So...
right, so I'm headed to get something from my grandpa's house and then go to visit him. I uh, took a spill on New Year's Eve and uh, <coughs> there he's basically in a re rehabilitation place um, trying to get back to where he can walk again because right now he can't so I'm going to visit him it's, it's super um, <coughs> I'm not really an anxious person. I would say I did get nervous about various things, but I guess when you're dealing with someone who's confused, it's just really overwhelming to go in and to not know what state he'd be in when you go in. And I've gone a few times now by myself, and it's just, just not really, not ideal. Um, it's just challenging because you know he wants to go back home. He forgets about different situations, and so it's just, uh, yeah, difficult. I just left the, um, just left my grandpa. Had to come back here to grab my camera forgot it at my grandpa's house when I came up here so um, it's just so incredibly stressful yeah I just think that more people we need to figure out a better way to care for older people because you know like our family I feel is doing way more than than most families do and it's a really hard thing to see because you know he's now surrounded by other people who are in different but similar situations in life and and so I really you know I don't have an answer I'm just kind of I guess expressing my my frustration and I think desire to figure out you know there's got to be a better way to care for us as we get older all of us will get there someday so um i think it's even harder when you still have a lot of your he still i feel my grandfather still has a lot of his mind there even though he's confused as well but like, he can't physically do what he thinks he can do. And that is just, you know, I can imagine it's extremely frustrating. You know, right now where I'm at, I see a challenge or a, some physical thing that I can't do or I don't think I can do and I try and I can't do it. And that like fuels me to want to keep doing it. And yet, as we get older, our physical strength goes significantly down and you know, we try to do something on our own and then basically we're told, okay, you can never do that again because you're gonna fall and break something. And so like, you're putting them in these wheelchairs, in these little boxes and, you know, for fear of them, them falling and breaking something, you're not allowing them to do anything or feel any, any significant, they're not really given a chance to to rebuild. It's not always 100% true, but I don't know. I just feel like there's always so much to think about and learn and uh, it's really important for um, everyone to be in the lives of those who are, who are, older and younger and all ages it's just really important to <clears throat> support each other and i guess honor the the situation and um the experience of their life at this moment at this age at this uh mental and physical 
state of being so yeah I'm I'm I really feel like forest therapy could um, change the game in in terms of you know aging and that process and the feelings and emotions that you may go through and yeah just health in general um, forest therapy is just the answer to so many things and uh, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling because I could go on for you know 15 minutes on this plus so let me go in I think I'm gonna make myself some I already made some quinoa, so I'm gonna make a little quinoa salad. So I've made quinoa salad with all sorts of stuff. Um, most recently I made it with apple, kale, um, olives, or something else, maybe avocado or something, and I just mixed it with a cup of cooked quinoa and uh, lime juice and salt. Um, that's basically all I did, but today I'm going to do an apple with lime juice. I got a beet here. Um, I got some carrots. Uh, I might add some other stuff. I don't know what I feel like, but I'm just going to throw some veggies in the quinoa and it tastes delicious. Quinoa is a like, superfood grain. Um, I used to really not like it because I would always eat it plain but now since I've started adding specifically like the apple the apple makes it so much better um, I like really love quinoa again so I'm gonna make that for lunch alright so we have the beets that I cut up instead of shredded carrot put some peas in there um, apple a whole apple and lime, half of a lime, and some salt, and that's it. That's all you need. I think later today I'm going rock climbing, which is super exciting. Didn't go rock climbing. Been working on the computer and planning my trip to Greece more. Um, so much more information to come. I'm gonna check in again before I go to bed because I'll have more info about everything. So it is now the following day and I never finished the vlog. So basically what I want to show you is this bag that I got. It's by Nomadic and it's a travel bag. And basically I'm going to be filming a um, packing video with it. It's a carry-on size and um, yeah it's just the best backpack I've I've found and um, I'll link the video to this bag once I have the other video out so um, link the video to that as well as this backpack. Um, it's just the best backpack for so many reasons but um, I'll explain in another video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very, very soon.